All right, Kipsters, now it's time for us to fill out our tans. I do want to highlight for you that I finished annotating the rest of the text. So please check my work to see exactly what that last section was about. All right, so we know that we need to tell our topic. I'm going to click text box so that I can write in this box provided. It says, who or what is this about? Well, I know this whole section is about the indigenous people who lived in the Great Basin. So I'm going to say indigenous peoples of the, I'm sorry, when I said Great Basin, I meant Great Plains, excuse me, indigenous peoples of the Great Plains. Now it's time for me to identify what is the purpose of this article. Is the purpose to give me information, to persuade me, or to entertain? I know that this is definitely giving me information, so I'm going to click shapes, circle, and then I'm going to draw a circle over in form. Now it's time for me to write the central idea of the text. What does the author want me to know about the indigenous peoples of the Great Plains? So before I start, I want to really quickly just relook at it, see what my big points were. I see it gives me some information about geography, and it tells me a lot about how they used bison for food through hunting, as well as they used bison for a lot of different things, such as their housing, their clothing, tons of stuff like that. So I'm going to start here by saying, oops, not a comment. I need to make sure I click text box. And then I'm going to start with the indigenous peoples of the Great Plains used bison for many important parts of their life. From food to clothes to housing. That sounds like that's the most important thing to me because it primarily talks about how they used the bison. Now I need to identify my structure. Do I think this is comparing and contrasting? Is this describing? Is this giving me a cause and effect, a problem, a solution, or sequence? I can tell that this is still giving me more information. It's describing how the people of the Great Plains lived, so I'm going to circle descriptive. All right, Kipsters, what I want you to do is read over the notes on how to annotate yourself so that you can be prepared to annotate our next text, The Indigenous People of the Eastern Woodlands.